and ready to go as they get set to match up with Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. Both of these teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. across midfield and inside the 45. 31 yards there and a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Right back to him on first down. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said right down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it would be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And to give this time to the tailback. There he goes again. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 27. They run to the former Eagle and Dolphin, Jay Ajayi, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be second and 12. Johnson trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but now from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Out of the gun, Watson. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jonathan Abram, the rookie from Mississippi State. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. They were looking for Johnson that time. 
Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. He's already scored once. He definitely had his eyes wide open trying to get in there a second time, but I thought that was a really nice play defensively to deny him. Yeah, it was, as you said, keeping him away from his second first quarter touchdown there. They'll try to run this one in. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a... Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Corey Littleton credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Running from the gun, Johnson. Nine yards on the gain there, and it's going to bring up a tough third and seven. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? 29 is the mic. Mike, 29. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Alert. Throwing on third down, Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. That'll go as a pickup of eight. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Carl Nassib there on the tackle. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this one grabbed by Darren Fells. And he's got this down to the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Watson. On the catch, it's Duke Johnson. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second at about a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Back to throw, Watson. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 
The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. They go play action here on first down. Completes it to Ajayi. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll bring up a second down. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. On second and goal. Watson. Buying and this will be a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. As they are now on the board here in the first half. But well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, it didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Let's go. Let's go. At their own 25 yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Rush in. Rush in. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Now a handoff here to his running back. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. Give him six yards in the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Kill, kill, kill. Now they try the right side here. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Hey! 
Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. What now? 185. Here we go. Here we go. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, hey. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Oh, geez. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. At the 41 yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Fourth down and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. This from 54 yards away. This is right down the middle as he puts it through. Last season for Carlson, a bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, look your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenge on your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, can you help dig this hole? See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Stills the intended target, and it's third and short. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Mike three. Mike three. 
The final shot before the break. Watson. They still can And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a way that I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of tiny Independence, Louisiana. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. They are going for it. Here's Watson. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agree with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. What you got, Give me some. Give me some. From the gun, here's Watson. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. It's a loss of four. Now third down. So two disastrous running plays, and now they face a third and very long. Coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. No move to get the offense off the field here. They've converted once on this drive. On fourth, they'll go again and try it once more. Check 99. Check 99. Give me pass. Yeah, 
They're going for it. It's Watson. Corey Littleton. And how about this for a setup? The ball will go over on downs at the one-yard line. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late-game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But, boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. Well, this is a nice little gift wrap situation as they take over first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That really sets him back. A loss of six. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. time to the tailback and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six only a yard there and that'll bring us to third and goal defensively I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third and I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys what do we do because now you don't have a go-to play either side they pick throwing it running it it won't be easy check three check three check three check cross They'll run here on third and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Watson, operating from the gun. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. To throw is Watson. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. This is fielded at the seven. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jonathan Abram, the rookie from Mississippi State. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Check, check. Now a handoff looking right. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A great effort there. 31 yards, and the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful.
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drop. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Bannon picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Throwing on second and long. Watson dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Now it's Watson. Flushed out right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. To throw again on second down. Watson. It's complete to Fuller. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 28. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. He gets it to Cooks. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. First down throw, Watson, flush to his right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. That'll bring up second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hops and picking passes off. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. On the ground, this is Johnson. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Demarius Randall. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. He's at the 30. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. Carlson now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Carlson 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, he's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. To the air yet again, Watson. And an alley to run. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. On first and ten, Watson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Will Fuller was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jonathan Abram, the rookie from Mississippi State. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.